Reptiles never stop growing. It's a simple fact. Most reptiles never stop growing. They grow all their life. People stop growing. When you're 16 or 18, you're going to quit growing, at least vertically. Some go horizontally thereafter, but reptiles never stop growing. What would happen to a reptile if you put him in the Garden of Eden and let him live to be 900 years old? You'd have a big lizard, a really big lizard. Dinosaurs were big lizards that lived with Adam and Eve before the flood came. You can get these Jackson chameleons right now at the pet store. What's he going to look like at about 15 tons? Probably some kind of triceratops. Dinosaur means terrible lizard, and dinosaurs lived with humans all through history. They just had a different name for them. We'll cover more on dinosaurs on video number three. But dinosaur bones and human bones have been found together. Dinosaur bones were found in the same rock strata as these fossilized human hands. Dinosaur bones and mammal bones found together. <clears throat> Here's one of the Ica stones showing a human riding a dinosaur. Dr. Ball has a couple of the stones in his museum. We have eight in our museum now of these Ica stones. I think we have the largest collection in America of these Ica stones from Peru. <clears throat> Many of them show dinosaurs on there. Cover more on that on seminar part three about dinosaurs in the Bible. Dinosaur footprints and human footprints have been found together in Glen Rose, Texas. I know there's controversy about this. I've been there five times. I've heard all the critics on it. And I've, I've been there myself to check it out, okay? But go to Dallas, Texas and go south 45 miles to Glen Rose and you'll find the Paluxy River flows through this little town and it's all full of limestone. The whole area is limestone, kind of like around here in Knoxville. Well, that river cuts through this limestone layers. In 1908, there was a flood. 17, uh, the river dropped 17 feet per mile, but this flood was incredible. It was, I think, 30 feet above flood stage or something. It was just an incredible flood in 1908. It ripped off the bottom of the river, tore off the layer of limestone. Two foot of limestone was ripped up. Underneath was a new layer of limestone, and when the river dried up that next summer, they discovered there are hundreds of dinosaur footprints. Dinosaur footprints. It's called Dinosaur Valley State Park. There's a book on the table uh, right there if you want to read more about it. They chiseled out lots of the footprints and took them to museums to save them so they wouldn't get eroded by the river. Took out huge blocks in the 1930s and set them up under dinosaur skeletons. Footprints are big. Here's a, guy, here's a little kid taking a bath in one. But sometimes in, these, in this area, they find human footprints with the dinosaur footprints. Human tracks and dinosaur tracks together. We could spend all day talking about this. There's been thousands of uh, reports on this thing made. Some believe it, some don't believe it. Uh, here's a trail of human tracks and crossing a trail of dinosaur tracks. And human footprints, some of them are pretty good size, and occasionally they're found inside the dinosaur footprint. Well, if you're running through the mud to go escape the flood, that's the logical place to step, right where somebody else already stepped.